It's undeniable to me that dogs can do some things that really make us unhappy with them. They might destroy something that is valuable. They could injure us with their nails or their teeth. They can create a mess inside of our homes. They can be disobedient when we issue them commands. I'm sure that the list could go on and on. Despite these things, people really love their dogs and deep down inside, we really want the best for them. So here's the question that I'm going to try to answer with this video. How can I enjoy my dog and avoid having them do the things that I don't want them to do? Howdy, I'm Al the Dog Trainer. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, thanks for watching. I hope this information is really useful for you. If you've been watching for a while, now's as good of a time as ever to subscribe. I'm going to be devoting a lot of my time this year to making this channel something very useful for you. It's been my experience that most folks will try to correct their dogs if and when they catch them in the act of doing something wrong. People will also try and correct their dogs after the dogs have done something wrong and they discover it. Is this you? If this is you, here are some questions that you may ask yourself. How long have I been correcting my dog for that bad behavior? When my dog acts up in my presence, do I simply put them in another room or in their crate? How often am I practicing with my dog? I'd encourage you to think about these questions because they may hold the answer to the question that I initially asked. How can I enjoy my dog and avoid having them do the things that I don't want them to do? I feel that what truly prevents the dog from making countless mistakes and also being a dog that we not only love but enjoy being around is this, that we as dog owners take a proactive approach and stop reacting to when they do the things that we don't want them to do. Well how in the world are you supposed to actually do that? Trust me, I know that this can be really frustrating. I really believe that starting today you can begin to make the changes that will transform your relationship with your dog for the better. So I'm going to lay out some things that you can start doing today. So here we go. When you have a training session, focus on your techniques for at least 10 to 15 minutes a day until you are good at that skill. Here is a list of the skills that I think every single one of us should be working on. One, leash pressure cues. Two, luring skills. Three, hand signals and footwork. Four, timing of verbal cues. Five, knowing exactly what the target behavior is. Six, timing of moment markers. Seven, authentic reinforcement. So how should you approach this list? Take it one skill at a time. If you need to improve your dog stay, then focus on one of those seven skills until you can stack them all in order with little to no thought. You should be able to seamlessly put all those together when there are no distractions. I feel that this should only take you a week at most. Okay, so what's next? Now that you are more skilled and you can get it right where there are no distractions, it's time to do the skills in a practical way. So let's just say you've been working on your dog's stay. You should now practice the skill during realistic situations. Here are just a few. You're working in your kitchen. You're coming home from work. Oh, you ready? Who's home? You're eating. You're in your yard. You are in your garage. I think you get the point. As you go through the process of performing the skill that you first learn how to do with no distractions and then apply it in real situations, then you and your dog are very likely to get better and better. So I'm curious, do you think that if you applied what I said that you would see your dog do the things that you don't want them to do less? Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. So before I go, I just wanted to remind everyone of the giveaway. I'm giving one of you all $120 worth of dog food. The contest ends on January 31st, 2021. You can check out the details in the video description. So like this video if it was useful. Drop a comment and let me know what you think. 
and subscribe to let me know that I'm heading in the right direction. Hey, thanks again for watching. I'll be back soon. Have a great day and happy training.